What's going on guys welcome back to another video i hope you are having an amazing day and in today's video i'm going to show you the android p beta 3 aka developer preview 4 on our oneplus 6 so this just rolled out last night and i've been testing it for almost like eight hours and there are some pretty good improvements over here but still the animations are a bit glitchy from android p but they surely look extremely beautiful on this massive display so let's just start with the home screen but before that it's just basically everything that oxygen os 5.1.9 and some newer ui elements so for example if you have actually seen my oneplus 5 and 5t latest beta video it has a complete new ui like a wire design i'm not a huge fan of it most of the people aren't but surely gives a new look and just a custom rom feel but let's just take a look so you have a newer shelf yeah it's completely white. I know it surely takes out the feel from the launcher where it feels a part of it just like Xiaomi but now it feels like Google now because it's completely white but it's much more smoother than the Pixel launcher as you can see. Uh, it's just seamless but let's just take a look at the apps. So we have your normal apps over here as you can see nothing special over here you just get the OnePlus switch and all the stuff newer but you do get your shelf with some more animations like this uh, dock searching for the hidden apps. Pretty nice touch by OnePlus. And then each and every single app has a newer wire design which I have actually shown you in last update but it gets a more of a UI change which would be as same as the OnePlus 5 and the 5T as I showed you but then again looks quite nice as you can see clock and all the stuff is now much more bigger and easier on the eyes for this massive display which is a very nice thing and then if you're wondering why am I using gestures well the gestures are kind of now growing on me I was not a huge fan of OnePlus gestures and then again the screen being this huge I didn't mind the navbar being there but now that they have actually fixed their things or not just fixed but they are trying to improve it looks quite good for example just back it's pretty handy i use the samsung galaxy s9 plus as my daily driver the back button is there then the recent apps panel you have to just hold it and if you want to now go to the recent apps panel you just hold it and there you go the animations are now much more plush I would be really happy if they add a blur background over here or at least give an option for it. But here you go, you have the all new Android P recent as panel. It's horizontal rather than being the 3D one. I was really a big fan of 3D vertical layout, but this is the future. I would surely hope that Google gives an option to switch it back. But if you want to access more options, three dot menu, you can lock or pin the apps, full screen mode or split screen. Now this is very handy if you have any kind of third party apps and also the scaling has been bit optimized for the navbar which is a very nice thing you can directly jump into app info which is surely like in miui but the animations aren't slick as miui 10 at all i mean the miui 10 lags a bit in between but if you have a flagship phone such as a mix 2 or any kind of higher gpu phone like a mi 6x it doesn't lag but oh here it just kind of feels broken like it zooms out then again there is another pop in it doesn't really feel that on navbar but for gestures yeah the animations are not the best then again going to the apps apps are pretty much the same as i told you before it just gets a newer wire design even on the lost screen too as you can see for the voice search the camera camera has huge upgrades same as the 5.1.9 so they are trying to reduce the oil pit effect which i surely don't like especially on the front camera so huge improvements over there the front camera is much better than galaxy s9 then you have all new icons such as this for HDR. I have actually shown you, I guess. I can't really remember. But the 4K 60fps recording is still a bit choppy. As you can see, it doesn't feel 60fps at all. Even in the preview, it has some of the dips. And in portrait mode, the portrait mode is now much more better than again, you have depth effect and stuff. This thing, I don't know what to call it, but the bokeh balls have to be yet arrived on the OnePlus 5 and 5T. But surely OnePlus is working on that. Then we have newer design for over here. You get Google Lens as before. Pretty nice touch, nothing new, just normal improvements. And yeah, the camera has been improved. Like I've been just taking some shots over here. But my only complaint over here is the brightness is not as same as you see in the preview. Yes, the images turn out to be much darker than the actual preview. So I don't know what's wrong with OnePlus, but that only happens with HDR, for example. I was thinking that the image is this bright in preview, but it actually turned out to be that dark especially on these parts on AMOLED it's just pitch black but images looks extremely good like literally look at this one the shade on that and the clouds are also pronounced like a literally beautiful very nice boosted HDR again newer UI at the bottom and then the all new quick toggles as you can see looks much more like oxygen OS cause I'm using the default theme the default theme is now actually light but not a huge fan of it if you expand it looks much more better it's not as choppy as before or just square shaped it look very odd on this circular phone but now looks much more better and then again you have otg and all other stuff all the icons have been revamped so settings up again as you can see looks same as before but as you can see the icons are now colored 
such as for inverting like android p if you can call it cause earlier it was just all blue or gray i can't remember but going to the display again pretty much everything is just the same but if you now go to the notch display they have kind of reverted back to the older one cause the older one was actually bugless the newer one actually kind of needed a reboot each and every single time you toggle it and it was the actual notch display from android p this is just one plus layering not a huge fan of it and wasn't a huge fan of that one but still this kind of looks odd that the bottom corners are much more circular than the upper ones yeah this looks bit odd but surely works as if right now buttons such as volume panel as you can see finally we get a android p volume panel and it also expands like miui 10 yes unlike android p it just doesn't or this is just a developer preview 4 thingy i don't know because i have just seen a stock developer preview 3 if you have not checked my treble video here is an i button for it if you want android 9 on oneplus 5 or 5t but if you go to quick gestures everything is now working fine unlike before Going to the battery, as a part of Oxygen OS 5.1.9, now you get battery optimization. Well, battery optimization was there, but advanced optimization, yes, it's turned out by default. You can also enable advanced optimization for more battery life. And yes, the battery life is kind of amazing under gaming because it's using Vulkan API 1.2. So in Android benchmark, I can't really show you guys because it just crashes. But the gaming performance has been improved and also the battery drain is lesser. So this is a very welcome improvement. Going down to the security and stuff, pretty much the same. But there is no advanced mode over here. And if you're wondering, it's now inside the utilities. No, the utilities is now completely separate as you can see. Gaming mode has some more features. I can't really remember what they have added, but yeah, going back, going back. The advance is now in system. Yes, the system is now just this whole huge panel where you also have the advanced features such as OTG. Yeah, this must be in utilities. I don't know what's OnePlus doing, but you also get OnePlus notification, user experience program, stability and improvement. Pretty nice touch. Going to the about phone, still haven't upgraded to the 9.0. I don't know why. But here is your trippy easter egg which has to be yet updated but really looks beautiful on this AMOLED panel. And that's pretty much it for developer preview 4 of Android 9 for our OnePlus 6 and a bonus thing over here. If you are wondering if you want the Google Pixel 2's navigation bar, you can also enable it by a just simple ADB command. Yes, I was also trying to do it with system props but this is much better and much easier to do. You can just run the command in the ADB which would be almost like the second one. In the description, you have the Pixel gesture. So yeah guys, thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Peace.